Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back! Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. I'm YouTube famous now, <laughs> and uh, Peepee's not going anywhere. He's here for the ride too, and his new Christmas sweater, isn't it so cute? Oh my lord, Jenny from Australia sent that to him. So Peepee said, I know it's not Christmas yet, Daddy, but can I please wear my Christmas sweater? I said, of course, because you're famous. So anyway, welcome back to my November favorites. So many people comment to me that I need to have lights in here. Well, you know, I'm low maintenance, not edited. So eventually I probably will set up a little space and get some lights and all that kind of stuff. Uh, when I have a little bit more money to do that, I don't have that right now. Feel free to gift me some uh, YouTuber lights. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called. So anyway, those projection lights that make people look like a television station. I don't have them. I need them. I know. But anyway, I just love doing these favorites every month. And it's so funny because like I really like through the whole month of November, I thought like, okay, what am I going to put on here? What do I want to put on here? Those kinds of things, right? We're going to go sit over here so I can do some show and tell. When I was a little kid, I loved show and tell so much. I can remember being in um, kindergarten and PB like wants to just be on my lap. I remember being in kindergarten and loving show and tell so much. And this girl, the Stacy girl that I know, um, I knew, I don't know what happened to her. She's probably, I don't know, losing Calabasas with Jeffree Star now. But anyway, this girl, Stacy, Stacia, I can't remember what her name was. But anyway, she had this Barbie doll that was Cher. And oh, I wanted this doll so bad. I mean, she would bring it to show and tell at least like once a month. And I wanted this doll so bad. <laughs> Nobody knew I was gay back then, but I wanted to share it all. But anyway, so I just love these uh, favorites videos every month. And so I thought, screw it. I'm going to start doing it every month. And I'm going to have a little bit of a list, okay? And so what I'm going to do is every month, and I'm reading you from the list right now, I'm going to have a food or drink, a book, a gift idea, a beauty product that I use. These are all things that I obviously use, okay? A pet, pr a pet product, a clothing item, a shoe that I love at the moment, a household item, a TV show, a movie, and an app, okay? Because those are like typically the things that I love throughout the month. Um, so I'm just gonna talk about all those things. I've got them all arranged over here. Oh my God, it's like show and tell in kindergarten. I love it so much. PP's like, can you please, Daddy, take this sweater off? Okay, I do love this sweater so much, but um, he just likes to sit on my lap in it. So we'll just put that over there for a second. So anyway, um, number one, I love, 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 you know, dog clothes, dog hats, dog wigs. I love all of it. So anyway, the first thing is food and drink. And I wanted to talk about this, you guys. If you didn't know, I started, my two things are going to be really boring health-wise <laughs> this month. But if you didn't know, I started another channel. It's called My So-Called Healthy Life. I started it two days ago. It's my weight loss journey. Um, it's been really fun to do it so far. I've gotten, I mean, a lot of people are subscribing to it and watching it. It's really cool, all the support I've gotten. So I've been trying to, like, try different things that I haven't tried in the past. Um, the first thing I've been using, and I'm probably drinking this, like, throughout the month of November, is this Argo tea. And this is hibiscus apple. And I love it so much. You can get it at the grocery store. It's kind of pricey. It's like $2.99. They have like um, a bunch of them. They have a... This one is... Um, it's a little tart. It's unsweetened. But I don't really like... I don't like my tea sweetened anyway. So that I'm fine with that. I typically get the green tea. Um, they have like lemon green tea, citrus green tea. They have all different kinds of green, tea, green teas. I wanted to try a different one today. And this is hibiscus apple. I was kind of craving apple juice. So I was like, I'm going to try this. Um, I love the bottle. I think it's super cool. I'm like totally somebody that you can sell me on the, the how it looks anyway. You know, like I love the wrapping. So anyway, I was so disturbed because when I was taking the cover off, look, I ripped the, don't you hate that? Anyway, so that's my first thing. The second thing is, and you guys, I swear by these. I have eaten these like no lie for the last two years every time I've dieted. <laughs> but I do love them anyway. And it's these Evolve Chicken Tiki Masalas. And they actually have a lot of them. They have uh, the sriracha chicken and they have like macaroni and cheese. They're all like gluten free and they're like made from organic uh, products. They're really, really good. This chicken tiki masala tastes exactly like fried rice. I love it. And I make two of them. And each one is 270 calories, one serving per container. Um, I mean, I can read them to you. It's like uh, nine grams of fried. You guys, I just realized recently that I need readers. You know, that's when you're old. Isn't you? you know what I mean by readers? Like you have to go like this. Seriously? I mean, am I that old yet? But anyway, I mean, these are really, really healthy. What I didn't realize until one night, I was sitting there, and I said to my husband, I go, I wonder why they call him Evol. Evol? And he goes, because it's love backwards. Don't you even get it? It's L-O-V-E, and the E is backwards, so you should have figured that out. I was like, oh, yeah. The other thing I love is that you can uh, cut these off, 
and then you can use them to mail in and get like a water bottle or a sweatshirt. I have like 500 of them, I swear. So anyway, those are my food and drink items for the month. I love those so much. The next thing I wanted to talk about was so many people ask me um, about books, okay? Because they know that I have a booktube channel. If you didn't know, I have a booktube channel. Peter likes books. It's linked below. Um, and it just is me talking about books I like, books I've read that month, all the books I bought. That's a book haul. <laughs> I love book hauls so much. I just did one yesterday. But anyway, and so I wanted to talk to you about a, one of my favorite, because people always are like, what's your favorite book? And then like, or what's the book I should read? People ask me that a lot on here. So I wanted to talk about a new book that I bought that I'm loving so far, surprisingly enough, and one of my favorite books from 2016. So the first one is the new book I bought, and it's Stephanie Myers, The Chemist. Um, Stephanie Myers is the author of the Twilight series. If you watch my booktube channel, you'll know I did not love the Twilight series. It's not one of my favorite series, but because I read a lot of young adult, I read it and it was okay. It was a great story. I just didn't care for the writing so much. Um, this is a suspense thriller and it's about a woman on the run. That's all I want to say. It's fantastic. I mean, it is really, really good. Um, it's available anywhere. I got it at the grocery store actually. And I think it was, I, it was like $22 and I got it on sale for like $16.99 with my uh, Kroger Plus card. Do you have a Kroger Plus card or a Marsh card or anything? So anyway. But then if anybody's looking for a book to read while they're on vacation from school or off of work for, you know, holiday vacations or going out of town for a weekend, what I, this is the book I recommend to everybody. I love this book so much. I will tell you that everybody that has read it, when I read reviews about it, they either love, hate it. Um, but it's um, Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. I, I cannot even tell you guys how much I love this book so much, okay? And it's about a girl that's bigger, and she's in high school, and it has to do with a beauty pageant, and her falling in love, and she works at a fast food store. It is absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. I love that in the front, she's in her beauty pageant gown, and in the back, she's in bathing suit for the beauty pageant. Oh my god. And I love beauty pageants. Love them all day long. Just found out today, not a beauty pageant, just found out today that the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, do you know who is going to be the music, musical artist there? <sighs> Lady Gaga. Thank you, Riri, for uh, texting me that information. I'm so excited about that. You guys know I am a huge, huge, huge Lady Gaga fan. In fact, let's just talk about this right now. My um, musical album for the month is Joanne by Lady Gaga. I am totally, totally addicted to that album. You guys, like, that song Million Reasons and Perfect Illusion, like, you guys, I just listen to them on repeat constantly. It was so funny because my friend Tanya is not a lover of Lady Gaga, but she downloaded the album. And she was talking about the other night, and she was like, that song, a Million Reasons, I just put on repeat, and I was bawling in the shower to it. I love that song so much. And I love the, her car, uh, carpool karaoke that she did, where she sang all the songs. I mean, the girl can absolutely sing, if anybody had a question about that. So go buy Joanne by Lady Gaga if you haven't already. I think it's totally worth it. I think every track is amazing, and it's very, like, up and down. I love it so much. Um... But yeah, Ju uh, Julie Murphy's Dumpling, um, she has a new book coming out in 2017, and they are also making this into a movie. So go read it before it comes out as a movie. Julie Murphy is also on Twitter, and she is extremely interactive, and um, I just love her so much. I've tweeted her a lot, and she always tweets me back, so very, very cool. <clears throat> okay, the next thing is <clears throat> a gift idea, and I have kind of two for this, or three actually. The first one, um, two, is... You guys know that I am really, really into journals. Well, um, I picked this up for my weight loss channel, and I picked it up at uh, Half Price Books. It was $5.99, and I love these journals that like have this thing, so you, okay, but then they also have a bookmark, do you see, where you can keep your place. I mean, $5.99 for a really nice journal. It's not leather bound, but it feels like that. Um, I mean, in, inside it's lined paper. You guys, and this can fit into like any just little purse or whatever. I am a total freak about no notebooks. Like I am hooked on them, completely hooked on them. I have to have them all the time, right? So I'm constantly buying them and I don't, I'm like, I write two pages in them and then I don't, I can't throw them out because I'm like, oh, that journal was for my dreams or that journal was for my list of goals for 2016, but I've only written three pages in it, but I can't throw it out now because that's what it's for. So I'm constantly buying new journals. And I think $5.99 for this gorgeous journal, which is just so basic. I love it so much. But anyway, you can probably get this anywhere. And in fact, I just threw away the paper, but I'll look it up so I can link it below if you guys want to buy it on Amazon or I don't know where. But anyway, I think that's a great gift idea. And then I wanted to say, I'm actually going to put this on. I'm going to do, uh, do a video about best gift ideas for holidays. And, um, or let's just call them Christmas gifts. I mean, let's just call them what they are, right? So anyway, um... Two of my, 
one of my favorite things that my mom left me was all of her vintage record albums, which for her wouldn't be vintage because they were albums that she listened to all her life. So I just randomly pulled two of them off of my record player, and I have um, Bob Dylan's Nashville Skyline, and I, like, I had to look and see. I thought it was just called Nashville. It's not one of my, it has Lay Lady Lay on here, which is one of my favorite songs, Girl from the North Country. That is, like, one of my mom's all-time favorite songs. I love that so much. Well, on her other albums of Bob Dylan, that's why I didn't pull it out, she has her name written on it, and then she also has, like, on the side, she writes in there, like, where she was when she first heard the song and stuff. Love it so much. And then the other one is one of my all-time favorite albums of all time, Stevie Nicks, Belladonna. Have you guys listened to this album? Oh, my God. I love this song. After the Dust. Do you know, is that the name of the song? After the Glitter Fades. Oh, my God. Do you guys know that song about Hollywood? <sighs> After the Glitter Fades. It's also Leather and Lace in it, which is not one of my favorite uh, Stevie Nicks songs, but I do. I'm like, I, Nightbird by Stevie Nicks is my all-time favorite song of all time. I'll link it below. Should I link it below? Would you guys even go watch it? Probably not. Okay, let's see. What's next? So those are two gifts I think are great. I think to go buy somebody an album, not a brand new CD or a tape cassette, but an album like that's been used, that's like, oh, I listened to this for years and years and years, and then to like go on the back and like write on there, like I was like sitting on the dock in Michigan when I met your mom, and this was a song that we listened to first in this album when I went and bought it, and I just wanted you to have a memory of us. I think that's so cool, don't you? So anyway... And then a journal to write all of your blowetry, all your blow it out your ass tree. <laughs> anyway, poetry. The next thing I want to talk about is beauty products. Okay. Oh, I didn't write cologne on here, but every month I'm going to do a scent of the month, okay? My scent of the month, and this is funny because this is not a brand new scent, you guys, and I don't even actually know which one it is. Um, I'm looking on here right now. Um, it's Burberry London. I love the packaging on it. I don't know why, but I just love that it has the Burberry thing on it, which is so cheesy, but... This is actually my husband's cologne, so I hope he doesn't watch this video. But I use it like every day. <laughs> no, because he never uses it. I think actually his boss got this for him last year. But I bought it for him. It's like a mainstay. Like we always have it. Oh my God. We always have it in the house. And for me, Burberry is so mad. Burberry London. There's a lot of Burberries I don't like, but Burberry London is so masculine. It smells like a man with a beard you know, getting out of a sports car in London, walking into some hotel lounge, ordering, you know, a scotch and soda and sitting there smoking a cigar with his guy friends and then going upstairs and just having the most amazing, passionate, lovemaking session of his entire life and then sleeping in the next morning and having Eggs Benedict. Yeah, and really strong coffee. And then why not fly to Paris? That's what Burberry London <laughs> smells like to me. I love it so much. Um, and then the other two beauty product, beauty product, beauty, I'm a beauty guru, beauty guru, beauty guru. The other, that's going on my album. You know that when my album comes out, dad, as fuck, when it comes out available on iTunes, I'm going to have a song on there called Booty Guru, because I'm totally a booty guru now. I'm, listen, I ordered the Jeffree Star lipsticks. I'm going to do a review of them on here. Don't think I'm not. And I'm going to start doing makeup reviews. People ask me all the time, they're like, would you wear makeup? Yes, if you guys will watch my videos, I'll wear makeup. I mean, not maybe out to like the movie theater or like to the Chick-fil-A or something like that, but would I wear, to, you know, to the McDonald's to get a cheeseburger? Would I put on some good rouge and a lipstick? But I mean... On video? Sure. I mean, what wouldn't I do on video, right? For a few dimes. I'm totally joking. But I am going to do that. I'm actually going to do a dollar store makeup haul, and then I'm going to put the makeup on. I mean, why not, right? But two of my products I wanted to show you is that for years I've used um, this Biomega Shake It. And what it is is you put it in like with clay or paste. And I don't really want to get it. You can, can you guys see? It's kind of like really fine white dust. You see it right there? But anyway, what you do is you shake just a little bit of it, okay, in your hand, and then you kind of move it around, and then you put the paste in, and then you put it in your hair, and what it does is it thickens it, and it holds it in place more like clay. Well, I used that for a long time, but then what happened was I found this Gage for Men clay. This is, and if you guys, do you guys know Gage products? I love Gage products so much, but this clay, and I'm going to show it to you, it smells, I mean, I love the smell of Gage products, but this one smells so good. But do you see the clay, the color? It's like a grayish, dark grayish clay. I'm gonna actually, I will do like maybe, would you guys be interested in seeing a video where I do like how I do my hair different ways and stuff? Cause I do, I mean, sometimes I wear it in Mohawk. 
You wish. Anyway, but, uh, oh, I do have beard oils coming on the way. I'm so excited about it. I reached out to a beard oil company. Well, like eight, but only one reached out back to me. And I said, I really want to try some beard oils. I've never used them. And they're like, oh, no problem. We'll send you a whole sampler kit and all this kind of stuff and whatever. I'm so excited about it because I don't know anything about beard oils. But anyway, I love this product by Gage so much. But let me just tell you, Gage, I had to use that lava soap, lava, that lava soap to get it off my hands. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like what construction workers use. I couldn't get it off my hands. It was ridiculous. So these are my two um, beauty products, but this one is so good, this Bio Omega. It's for men though. I don't think unless women have really, really short hair, like it would just clump your hair if it was long. Okay, the next pet product. Now, you know poor Pee Pee has not been able to eat recently because he um, has been losing his teeth. So we've been having to get him soft food. And my friend Tanya actually had these at the kennel left over. And so she's like, if you want to try them, try them. We brought them home and Pee Pee like fell in love with them. And then I found them at Meyer. They weren't too expensive. They, we give them half a day. And so they were like $2.29, so it's like $1.50 a day. And they're fresh pet stews made with fresh ingredients. And this is grain-free chicken recipe with cranberries and carrots. It hasn't upset his stomach. I love these little containers. It hasn't upset his stomach at all. But this is what's really interesting is, do you guys see? It's like the biggest, bigger pieces of like, like how like hard food is, but it's really soft and it smells good. It doesn't smell bad. Um, it hasn't changed his diet. It hasn't changed his poop or any of that kind of stuff. And he loves it. And he like, he eats it up right away. So that's that. Okay. The next thing I wanted to talk about, what do I have? Oh, clothing items. Oh my God. I'm so excited to show this because I wear these in all of my videos and people ask about them all the time. Okay. You guys know the sweatshirts I wear in all of my videos. So here is the black one, which is a little dirty. I just got it out of the dryer, but it's got white fuzz on it. One of the things I love about these, if you can't see them on camera, is that they have these little V's here. I wear these with everything. I mean, they're not fancy, but just go out to get pizza or hang out with your friends. They, excuse me. They are so comfortable. They are, a lot of people have texted me that they bought them for themselves. They are just Hanes Premium. And this is an extra large. And they are $7.95. $7.95, I got it at Target, and I bought them out of every color. Like, seriously, I think the only color I don't have is red, because I just never wear red. But anyway, I got the blue, I got the gray, I got the dark gray, I got the black, I got the blue. <laughs> I want to buy more. I love them. They're so comfortable. $7.95, seriously, why wouldn't you buy, like, five of them? And then my shoe item of the month, and I already talked about this in a video earlier, my Earl video, but did I keep that one up? I don't know if I did or not. But anyway, are these Fry um, construction boots. I love them so much. I will tell you that they're a little pricey. They're about $300 uh, retail. I got them. Um, I actually bought these on eBay, brand new. And um, I like them because they have a little bit of a heel. My husband has the exact same boots that I got years ago, and he wore them and stretched them out, so I ended up buying these. I got these, I think they were 190 so, I mean, not bad, and I'll wear them all through winter. They're absolutely, I love them so much. Anything Fry is made so well, and they last for years. My dad had Fry boots in the 70s, and he still wears them, the square toe boots. He loves them so much. Woo! Papa needs a drink of his apple hibiscus tea, Daddy. I don't normally drink, but when I do, I drink apple hibiscus tea. <laughs> they should so hire me to be that guy. Okay. The next thing is, oh, my other clothing item is big, huge scarves. Do you guys like big, huge scarves? But I think, like, women wear them a lot, but I don't think that men do. But let me just tell you, I think, feel like I did this in a video already. Did I already show this in a video? I love, I think I did it in my weight loss video. I love big scarves with jean jackets. I think they look so hot. And so, anyway, and with the fringe and everything, I love these scarves so much. Just big, huge scarves, especially when it gets really cold outside. And you know you're going to be walking places, like, downtown to go out and stuff. Uh, this one is from a brand called Shiralia out of Chicago, and it was $26. I mean, $26, look at this. I mean, you could wear it as a cape. You could wear it as a shawl. You could go into hiding. You could say, please leave me alone. Or you could wear it as a scarf. Or, I don't know, you could wear it as a bracelet. I mean, you could just, you could do it as a sari. You could wear it as all kinds of things. And I typically do, so anyway. <laughs> okay, the next one is... My house care product, and I want to show you, this is also a great gift. Alex gets these at the salon he works, but they're room number six. Do you see these? I love these so much. Okay, these big, like, air fresheners. And this one is called Patty Wax, and it's uh, cardamom and tonka bean. And I cannot even tell you how good these smell. I just turned the sticks over because we've had it out for a while. Do you guys love these? 
Oh my God, our house, literally, let me tell you what my house smells like, okay? My house smells like the store that you find out, that you find in Cape Cod, and it's like late October, and so the leaves are coming off the trees, and it's gorgeous, and you go into this, this store, and you realize that like half the store is like tea and coffee, and the other half is like little knickknacks and old books and things like that, and the woman at the counter is like got old gray hair and up in this bun, and she's got the most beautiful smile, and her face is weathered, but she just looks like the most wise, the most beautiful woman in the entire world, and she's like, come back here, I have a special room with a fire maid and everything like that, and read this book, and so you come back there, and you walk into this room, and she hands you this little book, and it's like, she's like, this is the best mystery I've ever read and you have nowhere to go and you just checked into the bed and breakfast for the night and you go back to this little room there's this awesome fire playing a uh, fire you know going in the fireplace and she gives you the most amazing cup of tea and you're like what is this tea and she's like it's my own personal blend I make it here it's called the house blend he's like I'd love to get some of it and take it home she's like no you have to come here and drink it and so he sits down you sit down and you put your feet up in front of the fireplace there's candles lit everywhere and you're like what is that smell that's the smell right there so anyway that's my one favorite my next favorite is these frames from Crate and Barrel that we just bought. Do you guys see this ginormous frame? And then the picture goes right there in the middle. How perfect is that? I mean, seriously, my husband had to have this. I was like, but I do love it. He goes, I want to get like 10 of them. I'm like, okay. So we just have that little picture in the middle, but I do think it's kind of cute. All right, so that's all of that. And then let me talk about my favorite TV show. I am totally, 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 totally addicted to American Crime Season 1 right now. It's available on Netflix. I watched season two. I loved it. So when season one was available on Netflix, I was like, I've got to have it, right? It was so amazing. It's so amazing. It deals with a murder rape. It's very dramatic, very tense. I will tell you that. It deals with race issues. It is immigration. It is so well done. So well. I'm addicted. I'm absolutely addicted. My favorite movie for this month, are you ready? Was Ouija. <laughs> we watched it the other night. I loved it so much. Very scary, but it was really good. And then my favorite app for the month, um, and I talk a lot about this on my booktube channel, but I'm going to talk about it on here. My favorite app for the month is Audible. I love Audible so much. Audible, would you please? Look, I'm, I'm almost done with uh, Ransom Riggs, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. <laughs> Audible, will you please sponsor me? I love Audible so much. I talk about them so much. I literally just spent $49 on their Audible sale where all the books were $4.95. I think the Audible sale went till yesterday, so I'm sorry. But they have them what, like once a month, and they have all these books that are on sale. They also have a daily deal. It's really cheap to join. It's like $14 a month or two books a month, two credits a month for like $25. It's totally, I, I love Audible. I love listening to audiobooks so much. So anyway, whoo! Papa, I'm worn out. Papa, can you hear me? PB's like, let me give me some of that tea. Give me some of that tea. I'm so worn out. Anyway, did you guys enjoy those favorites? All the links that I can find will be listed below. If it's not linked below, that means I couldn't find a link for it. I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to my December favorites, which will be a special favorite of best Christmas gifts to buy or best holiday winter gifts or whoever you're buying New Year's gifts or whatever. Anyway. I love you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed. YouTube is unsubscribing people to channels, so please just make sure. Hit the notification button, which is the bell to the, not, the, to the right. You'll be notified every time one of my videos goes up, please. And uh, follow me on all my social media. You guys know I'm super, super interactive. So I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.